Are you shopping for a house in a seller's market and can't find the right house for you? I'm going to share with you 10 tips that you can use today to help find that house. Are you a buyer in a seller's market and just can't find the right house and think you never will? If you learn how to ignore the 10 tips, that's right, 10 tips of things you should be ignoring right now, you'll be able to hopefully find that house sooner than later. My name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and don't forget to hit the bell as well for notifications when new videos come up. 10 things you should do, 10 things you need to ignore. Let's go through number one, the age of a house. Just because it's old doesn't mean it's bad. Old houses have a lot of character that new houses can never match. If it's been well kept, if the uh, mechanics, the internals of the property have been well maintained, it could be the house that you've been looking for and a lot of people ignore it just because of the age of the house. Crazy wallpaper usually go with old houses. If the house has crazy wallpaper, guess what? Newsflash, that can be taken down. And again, most people can't ignore these things. So this house will be on the market maybe a little longer. So just because it's on the market for a little longer, don't ignore it as well. That would be number 11, by the way. Hardware, little knobs. Yes, little knobs can make people upset when they go into a kitchen and they see a fish or an octopus knob on the kitchen uh, cabinet. They get turned off and they walk out. Crazy, you can very easily repair them. Yeah, they can be a little pricey, but when you're buying a house, it's a minor fix that can be done with a screwdriver and you can buy them online. It's a very easy thing to fix. Don't let it turn you off. And yeah, people do get turned off when they see hardware, front door hardware and things that they don't like and they walk out, not realizing that's good for me. You walk out, I'm gonna be the one that's gonna buy this house because I know how to change knobs. Borderline carpet. What do I mean borderline? Maybe it's new, but it's not your color or it's not the type you're looking for. If it's got Cat stains on it definitely can be removed. You might have hardwood underneath the carpet. Don't worry about something that's cosmetic. It can be replaced. It can be replaced over time. Popcorn ceilings. Back in the day, they had a lot of these uh, architectural looking ceilings that used to be in style, but not anymore. Can be replaced by either a contractor, they could sand it down, or they could replace the sheetrock in general. Don't let it be a turner for you. Again, if you can ignore it, you'll get the benefit of a house. Make sure it fits your criteria. What do I mean? Does it fit the layout of the house you want, the neighborhood where you want it to be, the school district, if that's something that you uh, is on your want list, and your price range and taxes, naturally. If it fits all that, learn to ignore these 10 things, and it will help you find the house that you're looking for. Pink colors. Yes, paint. People get turned off by crazy colors of paint. What's crazy for you might not be crazy for me, but it can be changed. Not a deal breaker. Even the craziest of colors with a couple of coats of paint and good primer can be changed. A lot of people turned off, run out of the house, don't want to bother. Good for you that they're leaving because now you have the imagination. You've watched this video. You know you can ignore certain things and they can be fixed later on. Odors, unless it's mold or mildew, which can also be um, rectified or fixed, and you ask your contractor if you're not sure what the particular odor is, but most odors can be neutralized and fixed, not a problem. Don't let it be a turner for you if it meets the criteria of the things I just mentioned a moment ago. Again, in a seller's market, the inventory is low. So you are, can't be as picky. And if everybody else is still picky, you learned how to ignore things to your advantage. Curb appeal, don't let it be a deal breaker, ignore it. Lack of privacy, most houses on Nassau County and in the city limits have lots. 40 by 100 in Queens uh, and the city areas, 60 by 100, 70 by 100 in Nassau County, larger when you get out, the further east you go. But if you have neighbors right on top of you and you don't want that, you can put up a privacy fence and find out what the zoning is in your town. You can put up not only a fence, but you can grow shrubs 
find out what the zoning and, and the uh, rules are and regulations, and you can find shrubs that can grow 10 feet high, and that will solve your privacy problem. So don't let it be a deal breaker for you. Hopefully these 10 rules or 10 tips of things you should ignore will help you find that perfect house. Now, if you are a serious buyer or you're thinking about buying in the future, I'm sharing with you today a free ebook. There's a link below. It says, get your free ebook. Click the link. It has tons of information to help you in the buying process, other than the 10 tips that I just shared with you of things you should ignore. Again, this is Mark Schreier. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget these, and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell for notifications. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.